Hi guys, welcome to today's video. It is time for the BoxyCharm July 2019 try-on. Um, I will go over the uh, what's in the box this month. I will also be putting on the, the those products on my face. I will then add everything up and give you um, an amount as to what the um, retail value of this box would be. Again, this is a subscription box, that's $21, $21 a month. Um, and so uh, let's just um, let's just get started. Okay, so when we open this up, here they are. Oops, here they are. <laughs> okay, so here's the, whoops, the card is right here. Um, the first thing I see here is first thing I see here is this mask from Elemis and this one is uh, the retail value is $35 um, it's like a veggie mask and I actually have one of their um, I think it's one of their serums and it has a really really nice smell and I really love the way my skin uh, feels after so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna insert a <laughs> I'm gonna insert a clip of me applying this and then um, just washing it off and then we'll come back to the to applying the other products okay so here's the mask it's a uh, LMS superfood vital veggie mask um, it says get a shot of green goodness with this treatment mask that nourishes smooths and brightens for softer smoother more radiant finish it has a really really nice smell like I said before uh, and it feels really really nice on the skin um, here I am applying it. It says to um, apply generously and leave on for 10 minutes and then to wipe off with a dark towel. And the reason they say, uh, well, they say black, um, a black towel is because uh, this can stain. So I don't use a black towel. I end up just using a white one, which is fine. Okay, so mask is completely on so I'm just gonna leave it on for 10 minutes and uh, then I'll come back and rinse it off be right back okay so I actually ended up leaving it for about 30 minutes so it almost looks like it it disappeared and like it got absor absorbed into the skin but it is there I hadn't rinsed it off um, I just damped, dampened that uh, towel and I'm just wiping it off very gently. The skin feels very, very um, hydrated and very, um, very comfortable, not dry at all. So thumbs up for this one. Okay, the next thing here is this eyeshadow palette from Butter London. I believe this is a limited edition. Uh, this is valued at $32. And let me just remove the little plastic there. This is what it looks like. It looks like it comes with uh, two mattes and four shimmers. So um, the two mattes, oops, sorry. These two here are the two mattes and then these uh, four shimmers. These two are like light pinky ones. This is like a light olive and this is like a rose gold. Um, and so, I, I don't know how I feel about the color selection on this. There's no transition color. Um, it doesn't seem like one complements the other. It's just kind of like, it's it's weird. So what I think I'll do is for the, um, but we, before we get into applying that, let me show you what I'm going to be using. The next item on the, on the list here is these brushes from Luxie. It's a set of three, and these are uh, valued at, $30, is that right? Yes, $30. Um, and it's these three brushes here. So you get a foundation, a foundation brush, a large blending brush, and a precision um, eyeshadow um, brush. So like I said, because there was no real um, color that was in between that I could use as a transition color. I'm just going to use some of my bronzer, my Hula bronzer here and just kind of place that all over the, on the crease using that large blending brush, which I think will probably be 
one of my actually let me zoom you zoom you in a little bit all right now that we have some of that color down it's not really that noticeable but I think it'll just mostly help with um, with blending I think I'm gonna try to go with this blue here and try I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush this is a sorry Alamar cosmetics blending brush which I've talked about before and this actually came in one other boxycharm set um, so I'm just gonna pick up that blue color here and just kind of put it in the outer oh this is really pigmented and then just kind of once I place it then kind of just drag it in you know the drill guys I'm just gonna fast forward this part so I don't bore you Okay, so now that we're <clears throat> finished with the eyeshadow, um, I have to be honest, I'm not completely uh, too happy with it. Um, I don't know, the colors don't really go on um, very smoothly. Um, I don't know, the combination of the colors, I'm just not convinced, um, but we'll make the best of it. Um, so the next thing on here is this um, pencil from Appeal. It is... Um, in brown and it is a lip liner and an eyeliner gel liner um, this is valued at $21 and so we're gonna use it in our waterline first This reminds me, this is, goes on very, very smoothly and it feels very luxurious. This reminds me of the Urban Decay 24-7 liners. And let's see, well, that went on really smoothly. I really like it and it's the um, deep, um, deep, something deep is the color. It's a, a dark brown, it's just a dark brown, deep taupe, sorry. Um, okay, so I'm just going to apply some mascara and I'll be back to finish on um, the last item. Okay, and the last item on here is this lip gloss from Elmar Cosmetics. This one is valued at $10. And let me just insert a quick swatch here. There's what it looks like. Um, I'm first going to just put on um, some lip liner. This is just a regular brown one. I'll list the name and everything down below. Mm, it smells delicious. Smells really, really good. So it is metallic, but it's this feels 
super super nice it doesn't feel um you know like a lot of metallic lipsticks have that sandy feel to them this one doesn't it feels just like a regular lip gloss i would use this more as like a topper maybe like over your favorite nude uh, lipstick and then just kind of this in the in the center um it looks really really nice it's a very like bronzy color i think it's very um pretty for the um for the summer um the uh total value of this month's box is 128 dollars which i think is great i mean 21 dollars a month you get all these products the uh, my favorite ones would have to be this gel liner and uh, the elemis mask and my least favorite thing um, is definitely this butter london um, palette i feel like the the colors do not complement each other there's not enough um cohesion cohesiveness you guys know what i mean um so it, it was kind of difficult making uh putting a look together that kind of looks not nicely um you know where one color complements the other and you know this is what it, the, i came out um this is the look i came up with not happy with it but you know i just figured i would show you guys um anyway okay guys that completes this video thank you for stopping by i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i hope you'll consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up if you want to continue seeing these types of videos uh thank you and have a beautiful day bye